All right, so we have all been talking about this show on Netflix, Nobody Wants This. And at the end of the day, this this show, it's a great romantic comedy. We're all in agreement on that. Mm -hmm. But it really is about choosing relationship over career and vice versa, right? Um, and it's an interesting, like, eight episode debate on that um there are some other things that are mixed in there also but most friends going through or you're going through the same thing yeah that's interesting that you say that because I, I haven't seen it but um the timing i guess is perfect because yeah i was having a conversation with a mentor of mine a guy that's been in my life since i was a kid and has just always given me some advice and tried to give me guidance in my life and i went to kick it with him for a little bit and we started to talk and we started talking about life and a lot of the things that was going on with me and he was asking me about my relationship and how I'm doing in it. And he'd ask me at some point, like, tell me some of the, the, the things that you think are difficult. Or even if you had to pinpoint like one thing that you would say is the most difficult or has been the most difficult for you to be in a relationship at this point in your life, what would it be? And no one had asked me that at that moment. So I really thought about it for a second and I processed it. And I was like, honestly, probably the balance, like the balance between my relationship and my career because I think it's already difficult that we're long distance so the time is you have to be sensitive to the time and that make sure that you're putting enough time into the relationship but there are times when I have to basically make a decision to say listen I know you want you require this of me or you ask this of me but I got to do this because it's going to be better for my career and in those moments I get conflicted sometimes. Like, what are you really supposed to do? Are you supposed to put your relationship in front of your career? Are you supposed to put your career in front of your relationship? Mm -hmm. And he asked me, well, what do you think you should do? And I was like, well, that's the problem with me is I'm logical, a little too logical a lot of the time. And the way I see it is I know my career is going to be there at the end of the day. I know for a fact, 100% my career is going to be there. Like, I have to always make sure that that's in order. I want my relationship to be there. I'm confident that my relationship will be there. But it's not 100% as like my career is. And I know a lot of people who, looking back, spent a lot of years in relationships and kind of sacrificed their careers, and then the relationship didn't pan out. And then you kind of, if you could do it again, you might have wished you would have put a little bit more into your career while you were in that relationship. But at the same time, I know that that mentality would obviously be good for my career, not always the best for my relationship. And maybe a lot of relationships that didn't work they didn't work because you weren't watering them the way you should have been. And you were putting that time into your career. So I told them that's always tough for me. It's like a it's a balance that I can't seem to fully figure out yet. And I'm working on because you don't want to sacrifice your career. But at the same time, you don't want to ignore the person that you're with. So, where, yeah, where do you find that middle ground where you're you're fulfilled and taking care of both? You know, that when you're taking a look at the entire pie of the whole thing. There has to be some kind of sacrifice. It's a pure math question. When you're focused on your career, 100% of your life is on your career. Somebody comes in there, now you just got to figure out how much of that pie are you willing to give up. Exactly. And so when I when I realized that, because obviously, like you said, we, we'd love to be able to think we can 50-50 this, but at times you just simply can't. And I'm sure when you throw kids in the mix, it, it gets even more complicated. Mm -hmm. So I asked him that. I'm like, you've been married all these years. You were a successful man. You know, what What did you do and how did you see it? And I was shocked by his answer because because he's so successful and he was also married for a long time. But every time I've ever spoke to him, he's always talked to me about his career more than his marriage. So I thought he was going to say career easy. And he told me, to be honest with you, looking back on it, I certainly chose my career over my marriage. And he told me he regretted it. He said he 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 understands why he did it. He's happy the way both worked out. But in looking back on his life. He realizes that the times that he spent with his family and his ma and putting into his marriage were the best times of his life. The career mm -hmm. part he was happy. He did it. It worked out. He ended up needing to do it. But the memories that he holds on to truly are not from his career and not from times that he bettered himself or from his career accomplishments. They genuinely came from when he was with his family and with his wife when he did things. So he's like, I'm not telling you which to choose mm -hmm. or how to go about it. But he said for him. If he could do it all over again, he probably would have put a little more time mm -hmm. into his relationship as opposed to his career. I don't think that you shouldn't not put your relationship first, but I also think when you make those decisions regarding your job or your career, you have to think, if I don't do this for my job or if I don't show up in this way for my career, how is it going to impact my relationship? Because I think the reality is, is like, yes, you can say all day long that your relationship is the most important thing, but at the end of the day, like if you do something that's going to compromise your ability to support yourself and your family, then at the end of the day, like it's 
going to then still affect your relationship. So sometimes you're you're putting that fir- person first by also putting your job first. Mm. That's interesting. Where are you at, Chris? It's it's just. I think every relationship is unique. They're like fingerprints. The, no two relationships are the same. And I've heard time and time again, like on your deathbed, you're not going to remember the stuff you did at work. You're going to remember the times you spent with your family. That's pretty much what he said. And so it becomes one of those things where like, yes, your career is important because it provides for your family and helps you to, you know, and gives you what you need financially to make some of those memories and not that you need a lot of money to make memories with your family. But I think at the end of the day, when you have to default, you default to family. Mm. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that my last thought is going to be, man, that was a really good bit, Jackson, with that diaper. (laughs) (laughs) I'm pretty sure that's going to be my last thought right there. Uh, I also know that my job will never leave me for having a girl. But my girl might leave me for not having a job. You got that one. The Burt Show.